Hey everybody, Macho Movie Man here with another review for you guys. This time I'm going to be reviewing Blockers, which is new comedy from... I don't remember the director's name, but she was one of the writers behind Pitch Perfect. It stars Leslie Mann, John Cena, Ike Barinholtz, and three newcomers, female newcomers, whose names I can't remember, but considering their performances in this movie, you will be hearing a lot more about them. Uh, let's get... A Let's cut to the chase. Blockers is probably the funniest movie I've seen all year so far. And it's and it's about three teenage girls who on prom night decide to have a sex pact. They're all going to lose their virginities. And their parents find out and they attempt to track them down and stop them having sex. You know? It's very much American Pie but with a female-led twist to it. And... I'm gonna say it's very. It reminded me of American Pie, but American Pie if it's in this generation, because looking back at American Pie, that film will not be made today. Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, first off, the writing is extremely well done. Like it's really well written. It's gross out humor, but it never goes too far. Like it's never too much. There's enough gross out humour but mixed with actual funny witty lines you know and I think that's an issue with comedies like if they want to go for gross out sometimes they really overdo it sometimes it works uh, like I said for American Pie and then sometimes it really doesn't every other American Pie sequel so this movie walks that tightrope extremely well and I think a lot of that has to go to the performances Leslie Mann, she's always good. She's underrated, I think. And, like, her character probably is has the least to do out of the three lead parents. Uh, Ike Barinholtz, he's quite good. He's He plays the sleazy character very well in movies like Neighbours and Su Suicide Squad. And here, he's playing that same thing, but slightly differentiated. Like, there's a slight undercurrent of this guy isn't as bad as he kind of acts. And then you have, for uh, my money, the star of the show, which is John Cena. Like, he's... I think he's a terrific comedic actor. Like, I think he genuinely has a calling, because he was the funniest thing in this movie for me. Like, he plays that strong father figure, sort of idiot doofus, but lovable sense of idiot doofus so well here. Uh, the three main lead, the three main female leads, I can't remember their names, but they're all fantastic. Like, they give terrific performances, and you can tell that they're friends. You know, because like you see in some movies where, oh, these three girls are friends, but the way they act around each other, there's no chemistry in you, and you don't buy that they're friends. You buy that they're actresses who are playing a part, but you don't buy that these characters are actually friends. This is a friend group where you look at them and immediately, yep, they, they're mates. Like you can, like you buy it because you buy the chemistry and the chemistry is there and it's very evident. And I also like, like I said, there's a, it has a feminist twist to it. Like it's American Pie, but it's not guys who want to lose their virginity. It's girls who want to lose their virginity. And that's very commendable, you know, but it's feminist in that sense, but it's not feminist in that sense where all the male characters are terrible. Like I came, I went in thinking, okay, like the all, all three of them have prom dates. At least one of them is going to turn out to be a dick. None of them do. Like all the me all the guy characters, all the teenage guy characters are well written and funny, and like they're not the center of attention. The center of attention is squarely the three females, but they're still likable male characters in there. So like it's not oh feminists everywhere, you know. But uh, in terms of problems I had with the movie, uh, the mo it feels like it drags at times. And I think, like I said, Leslie Mann is kind of, her character isn't given, her, she has a lot of emotional elements to her character. Like she's one of the emotional cause of the movie, but I think in terms of comedy wise, she's not given as much to do as the two male characters she's with most of the time. And other than that, like, it's... I'm kind of struggling to think of anything else that's really wrong with it. Like, it's extremely 
hard felt even. Like I was surprised how they were able to balance this gross out humour with actual uh, moments of genuine character development and charm. Like it's charming as well. So overall, it's a really good comedy. I would ex I would recommend it definitely. I'm gonna give it eight point five out of ten. Until next time, guys.